Hey guys, what's up? So at this year's GDC, John Carmack used his panel to talk about the challenges that VR faces. The biggest one from his point of view is motion sickness and he described it as quote, a real problem. Now, right after that, he stated that it's not as big of a problem as we thought it would. And he kind of justified that by not many people uploading videos to YouTube where they throw up using Oculus Rift. Obviously, on one hand, he has to say that he's working for Oculus, so he cannot say, look, our product has a big problem with loads of people getting motion sick. But on the other hand, you really have to give him credit for mentioning something like that, because where do you see that? Where was any developer of any product ever saying anything bad about his product? So I do give him credit for that and I really appreciate him sharing that insight because to be honest, I'm not sure if you saw it, I did a review on the very first development kit of the Oculus. I had that for a whole weekend, tested it in depth. I made a video about that. I'll share the link down in the description. But in terms of the motion sickness, those were exactly my thoughts. The actual experience is mind blowing. And when you put it on for the first time, it just makes your brain explode because the 3D effect is so real and despite in the first dev kit the resolution being really shit it was still mind-blowing but then the motion sickness sets in and it didn't really take long and it turned me on one weekend from a hundred percent early adopter someone who will definitely buy it and was really convinced that it will play a major role in the future of gaming into someone who basically lost all his excitement for it. If you want to see the detail on that, then check my review link, as I said, is down in the description. And I know that since the first development kit, they made huge steps forward. You have now a higher resolution, you have less latency, you can tilt your head. But to be honest, to me, it didn't feel like those were the points that caused the nausea. That wasn't the problem with the device. The problem with the device was that your brain was thinking you're moving and actually physically you're not. And that worked for 20, 30 minutes, but then at some point it just didn't. But I think the main reason why so many people don't really see that problem is because they test it at a convention, they test it in a controlled environment for maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes max, and that's just too short to really get hit by motion sickness. Now, I'm not very sensitive to any kind of motion sickness. I don't get seasick. I can play, you know, 3D games for hours on end. It's all no problem at all. But after using the Rift for about 45 minutes, it hit me really really hard and it was actually quite interesting because I was playing and I was experiencing many different demos at that time there were no games it was all just like early demos and it was from one second to another it hit me hard and I had to take it off and I really literally felt like I want to throw up now on that video that I did about a year ago or whenever it was actually I think it was more than a year ago I got a lot of comments of people saying yeah well I'm using the rift since a year and I really got used to it and it just takes some time and and the body will adapt to it and then you kind of get over the motion sickness. Now, that might be true, but nonetheless, it is a big barrier for adapters of a device like this. So I think John Carmack is actually quite right in describing this as a real problem. And that's how I see it as well, because a lot of people will buy the device. They will try it out. They will realize, you know, you need to go through 20 sessions of proper sickness before you can actually put it on and use it without that negative feeling accompanying the experience. So all this really makes me question the future of VR. I know at the moment people are praising the idea of uh, virtual reality in highest tones. Everyone brings out a device. Valve has now introduced a new VR device they're going to bring out. There is Samsung's Galaxy Gear VR or whatever it's called. There is Project Morpheus for the PlayStation by Sony and obviously there is Oculus Rift. So everyone thinks that it will be a big thing and I'm pretty sure they will sell a few units. But I personally, after my experience and now seeing that Karma kind of shares these thoughts, see just big concerns about the future of VR. And Karmic actually also talked about his view on the future. In his panel, he basically said that VR devices like the Oculus will not only be restricted to gaming. He sees many different sectors of application. And actually, he believes that the sector that makes VR headsets really popular for the wider audience is actually the mobile sector. So that means tablets, mobile phones, all that. He's saying, and I quote here, I honestly do see a world with billions of people using virtual reality headsets. There's no way that a PC peripheral or game console is how VR becomes ubiquitous. So he sees the future of VR in mobile powered VR devices 
And in the long run, I do agree with him there. I think when we reach a point where it is basically a tiny contact lens or something that looks like a really nice pair of sunglasses and it allows you to get like an immersive 3D experience like Oculus does right now, then I'm sure people would love to put that on in the tube or in the train or wherever they are and give themselves the illusion of sitting in a big theater and watching a movie on a giant screen and all that. So I can definitely see where he's coming from and what he's thinking, but at the same time, time with the goggles as they are at the moment which are like giant and they are socially alienating and they are just very very clunky i don't see how that will link to the mobile sector nobody wants to sit in a train with people around them putting such big goggles on and watching a movie you just make an idiot of yourself and the same kind of applies for the home use if you're married and you're sitting on the couch playing a video game with these goggles on and your wife sits next to you i mean how does that make her feel it's just extremely weird and awkward unless she's wearing a device as well and and it just raises so many questions that i can't really see where where this product will go. Like I said, if we boil it down to tiny contact lenses or a really nice small pair of goggles that are not bigger than sunglasses, then maybe, but in the current state, I don't see it happening. Guys, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think I'm completely wrong? Do you think the future of gaming is VR? Did you have a chance to try out the Oculus or any of the other VR headsets? Let me know your experience down in the comment section. I would be really keen to hear your thoughts. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. That would be appreciated. As always, subscribe to my channel for more. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Bye.